So it's a pleasure to have today uh, Kantaro Omori that will uh, speak about uh, uh, on non-invertible uh, symmetries. Please, uh, you can start. So we will have a break of 10 minutes after one hour, after uh, 50. So when it's time, we have a break in the middle, okay? Of okay. About 10 minutes, when, when it's, it's good for you, okay? Okay, great. Please. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, thanks for introduction and also thanks organizer for inviting me for this wonderful workshop, I guess. And, and it's a shame that they cannot go to the beautiful city of France. I, I've never been to there, I really regret that. That's what it, the world is right now. So let's stop. Um, so I today I, I want to talk about um, sub, supposedly some review talk about about the something called a non invertible symmetry, um, which is I think uh, is an emerging field actually. So 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 I, I cannot give a coherent picture because it, it's just an emerging a new concept, but uh, I hope that this will help some of you to jump in and, and participate in, 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 in this topic. Okay, so I uh, first uh, introduct, uh, start with, of course, with the introduction and, and about the general generalization of the notion of symmetry. And then, um, uh, I will talk about the relationship between between the symmetry and in d-dimensional QFT and the the d plus one dimensional uh, TQFT or slash topological order. That which I think is is going to be very important. And then um, I I direct to talk, talk about my own work uh, about uh, uh, one plus one dimensional adjoint QCD, um, which I will try to. Uh, contain in, in a few slides. Okay, then I, I will end with giving giving some prospects about th this topic. Okay. So start starting with the introduction. Okay, and first uh, we have to recall about the. Relationship between the symmetry and and topological operators in in QFT. Okay. So let's start with the simplest example, which is is just the U one symmetry. And as you learned in textbook, if when you have a U one symmetry in in your Lagrangian, then you you have a neto charge. Some which is defined by integrating a neta current, which is closed. Just show you this is the conservation law. Okay. And and you can integrate over uh, any condimension one surface. Okay, and that defines the neta charge on 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 that the codimension one surface of 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 space time i mean codimension one surface of space time okay and this conservation law means that the, this neto charge is topological okay the the smooth deformation of the sigma one does not change the, the value of the charge measured by this surface okay Okay, and so this varies in an integer, and and it's convenient to also define a unitary operator, uh, u, and depending on, on on the angle alpha by just exponentiating this neutral charge. Okay. okay. So you have you each angle alpha, you have this uh, topological operator. Uh, which is just the exponential of of the neta charge. Okay, um, familiar enough. Uh, and this can be this topological uh, unitary operator in uh, 
you know, QFT can, can be gen generalized to discrete symmetry case. Okay, so like maybe uh, ZK or I, I don't know, just any, any finite group. Okay. Um, then, then you, in that case, you do not have a current because it's discrete, you cannot define the net, the net current but, or net charge, but you do, you do have uh, the corresponding topological unitary operator. Okay, so you don't have a middle step, but 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 you, you still have a unitary. Okay, define define on any uh, codimensional surface. Okay, and so it, it, one one example is just uh, say say think about some some lattice model. Say uh, on each side you have a, a z to spin up or down. Okay, then, then you can, um, you have a Z to symmetry. Assume that you, the Hamiltonian have a Z to symmetry flipping the up and down. Okay, then, then there is a corresponding Z to spin flip defect and that by, defined by just declaring that you flip all the spins included inside, inside the, the your defect. Okay, so, and, Okay, and in the case of Ising, it's easy to show that this defect is topological. Okay. And in, indeed implements the, the Z2 action, Z, Z2 symmetry of the system. Okay, so in summary, so in this of this slide is that the if, when you have an ordinary symmetry, that there is a corresponding uh, co-dimension one. And invertible topological operators. So I should I should emphasize this. Uh, this is topological. Okay. So for each element of your symmetry group G, uh, and you have. So for each element, you have you have unitary G U of G, okay. And it's invertible because it's well, it's unitary and and essentially because that the uh, if you if your symmetry forms a group, then by definition the, the group have a uh, inverse. Okay, so so in ordinary case, you just you, what you call symmetry is something com comes with the, the inverse operation. Okay, so so that 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 is the is what the invertibility means. Okay, okay, so this is basic stuff. Any question? Okay, good. Then, um, so once you recognize the, 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 this this correspondence, then um, you you can easily come up with a, a gen to some generalization of of the the, the right hand side of this this equality. Okay, so so there are two constraint. And and you can drop either or both both of them. Okay. And what what, what is called the higher symmetry or uh, higher form symmetry is obtained by dropping this uh, codimension codimension one constraint. So in the case, uh, if you think about the topological operator in QFT, that is still invertible but have an arbitrary dimension, then it is uh, is equivalent to thinking thinking about higher symmetry. Okay. Uh, I should uh, I should cite so uh, uh, Gaiot talk of since I love it. This is proposed by them. Okay. 
Okay, so, so this study is about the uh, higher symmetry. Still invertible, but, but higher, uh, higher symmetry. Okay, so, so the ordinary symmetry is in most cases act, acts on, on local operators in, in the QFT. But in, in, for, for the higher symmetry, it naturally acts on, on a p-dimensional operator when, when it, the co-dimension of corresponding topological operator is p plus one. Okay. So, so for p equals to one case, it's, it's line. And if you have some, and the action is by linking, okay, so, You can have, say, you have a la some line like Wilson line or fifth line in, in the gauge theory, then it 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 it, it uh, typically have a uh, sometimes have uh, the higher form symmetry, a one form symmetry charge, and in that case, the, the topological co-dimension two operator acts on la the on your Wilson or the fifth line by by linking like this and if you shrink it if you shrink your co-dimension two topological onto onto the this top hoofed based on the hoofed line you 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 might get the face and then this face is is the is the, the p form symmetry charge this phase measures the p for symmetry charge Okay, and so one one peculiar thing about about the higher form symmetry with p p greater than, than or equal to one is that the the group formed by the, the, this higher symmetry is uh, is abelian. This is because that the because it it have a higher codimension codimension greater than. Uh, or equal to two, so you can freely uh, reorder the re reorder the your your uh, symmetry operators. Okay, so that that makes them commutative or or Abelian. Okay, so that was uh, pointed out by by I mean. This paper and and it, it is very useful, but I'm not going to into the detail of, of, of the higher, higher symmetry itself. Okay, um, more recently, uh, people are also thinking about some n group structure, which is a mixture between the different piece. So, so if it's when, when people say two group, then that's uh, some mixture. Of, of some zero zero zeros form symmetry and and one form symmetry and there there is some way of non uh, non trivial mi mixture between them just not not just a direct product and in in a, in a sense there is some kind of 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 the extension between the the zero form symmetry the ordinary symmetry and and higher form symmetry. And and so yeah, so in, in in this this is the two group case. So and when for for p equals to one, so if you when you only consider the zero form symmetry group and one form symmetry group, then um then such extension is classified by the, this this group homology, the third group homology, and element k yeah and yeah and when k is non zero then the, this zero form minimal homosymmetry uh how have a uh, non trivial um, interaction between okay so i skipped 
this part. So, so in, in general case that the, the most general group, I mean, higher group that you can have in, in, in QFTD is, is characterized by some, the post of tower that starting from um, your uh, zero form ordinary symmetry, then, then that's extended by the one form symmetry, then extended by two form symmetry and blah, 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 blah. There's some tower structure you can think of. It. Yeah. And, and that, that's, that's the most general higher symmetry, the structure of a higher symmetry that you can have in, 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 in QFT. So this was a uh, kind of side remark, and my main focus on in, in this talk is the non-invertible case, uh, obviously. Uh, uh, any question? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Why are you skipping the physical meaning? I think it's important. <laughs> OK, yeah. Uh, OK. Yeah, so, well. Okay, let me explain. Okay, so so in, this is about I mean when in, in in gauge theory, and this is only about the two two group, not 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 in general. So so in in, in some gauge gauge theories there there is not there are non-trivial um, structure between the zero form and the one form symmetry like S. Like in, in this paper, we thought about the SO, not, not complicated one, just SOQCD. Okay, and, and what, so in, in, in this example, at least, what happens is that, uh, okay, so, so this, this one-form symmetry group characterizes the, I mean, acts acts on the Wilson Wilson lines, say. Okay, and so you 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 can think about so some Wilson line, some Wilson line R and R one R two, and it fuses to R one R two. Let me let me be more specific, so maybe more specific, so, so I just, uh, I'm talking about the reason lines in, in, in the SOQCD with multiple flavor, then, okay, so in, So here, uh, the symmetry, the zero form symmetry in SOQCD case is like S, U, and F, but two over Z2 when NF is even. I'm, I'm assuming NF is even. Okay, here, the Z2 quotient is, is because of, of this uh, minus one is inside the gauge group. So, so so the zero form symmetry group is uh, it is um, this quotient, but okay. So the all, all the gauge invariant. This means the gauge all the gauge invariant local operators are representation of of this group, not not general representation of SNF, but but in in this uh, quotient group. Okay. But such quotient structure is not necessarily um, persists in when you think about this kind of junction operator between the Wilson lines. So you, you can also study this um, sorry, maybe, maybe I'm saying some dumb thing. Should I be? Sorry, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm confused. I'm, no, no, sorry, 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 I should be, 
I should be talking about, I should be talking about, uh, should be talk, talking about the topics now. So. So. In this case, I should be talking about the topics now. Then, yeah, anyway, you, you, you can think about the, um, the junction between the two hooks lines. So these, these are not, not topological lines, okay? So just, just some, some line operator you have and, and you, you can think about the junction. And, and, and you, can, you can study the, 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 the representation under, under the representation of, of this line, line changing or junction operators um, in, in terms of this zero form symmetry group. And it, it's, and it can be a projective with respect to, to this quotient group. Me, means that Z2 acts non-trivially on, on the, this junction operator. That um, that's that's not, not not something trivial to see, but you you have, you have to analyze in this case. You have to analyze the fermion zero mode um, occurring around these two lines. Yeah, yeah. And, and that that is one manifestation of of this uh, non-trivial postnic of cross. Okay, please go on. Thank you. Well, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I hope this helped. Um, okay. So, so yeah, so that, that was that was about the higher symmetry or the Postnikov cross of that. Okay, then I I would like to move move to move to the, the non-invertible symmetry. Okay, and here I just mean it by by just uh, define something defined by any topological operator in in in, in QFT. So any codimension and any uh, and it it doesn't have to be invertible. Okay. And so of course the important question is is there such thing? And and so I'm going to say that in higher dimensions, the the session is a bit murky. That the whether really interesting uh, non-invertible symmetry exists or not is uh, is not very clear. I I believe it is positive, but um, but not. Uh, I also admit that in high dimensions, the situation is murky. Higher means that the three or greater than that, but in, in 2D, definitely there is, and and it is they are very interesting. Okay, so one example is again again thinking about the uh, some Ising model. So say here 2D means sorry, this is this means that one plus one D or or two plus zero D either. It's fine and Ising model and okay, so then famously there is a chromos chromos one year duality and that connects the in, in Ising model at the temperature t in the statistical model and and it's dual temperature which roughly speaking of one over t okay and so so. So that, that's some duality, but not, not just that there is a duality, that there is also an interface between non-trivial interface connecting the two. Okay. And, and on lattice, on lattice actually, it, it, it was only recently explicitly constructed that the some this is the top some topological interface between the, the lattice Ising model, I mean the statistical two plus zero dimension Ising model um, at temperature T and temperature, it's dual temperature. Okay. And, 
you, you, you can you can explicitly define the, some defect, the topological defect the, between connecting the two. Okay, and okay, and you can of course tune your temperature at the, at the critical point. At, at the critical point it is defined by the t, t equals to t girl. Okay, then then this L sigma is, is connects non-trivially connects the, the Ising model to itself. So this is some self-interface or, or, or the topological operator in, in this critical Ising model. And you can, yeah. And so, so this criticalizing model have uh, the topological operator, and and it is non-invertible. And what, what does it mean non-invertible? Is that um, so? If you if you prepare the, the two defects that the the L sigma in one direction and and what, what L sigma goes the other direction. Actually, this this uh, this in this particular case, the, the this L sigma, the, this Kramer-Swanier duality line is, itself doesn't depend on the orientation. So you just prepare the two, and then so th these two are topological. So you can um, freely deform it, and you you can think about uh, crushing them into each other, okay? and and, and the, and see that what happens. And it, when you crush the, the two to this crowd mass one duality lines, then um, then what happens is that you get the sum of trivial line means the trivial defect equals not, uh, nothing plus the this uh, Z two symmetry line. So yeah, it, it, it's essentially, essentially saying that the, you, you, if you do um, the Kermas one year duality twice, then the spin operator is projected out. Okay. That's what this means. Okay. So in, and, and this, um, this, Operation of the crushing of the two operators is called the fusion, and and written by this uh, circle times uh, symbol. Okay. So it's the fusion law uh, in this case is that L sigma fuses with itself is it comes with the trivial line and and the Z two symmetry line. So Z two symmetry line, okay. and there's no inverse, so you can. Father, father said that there's no line such that uh, that L times L sigma equals just one. You, the best you can have is is this that the, it it contains the trivial line, but but comes with the the remainder. Okay. So that that's in general what happens for for the or topological operator. And, and th th this uh, topological, non-invertible non topological line in the critical Ising model is, can be generalized to any RCFT, the 2D RCFT, okay? And, and they're actually in back, back in 88, Eric Ferrindev already found the topological lines in RCFTs. He thought about the topological lines in, in RCFTs. Okay, and and he found that uh, for each and for each primary O of with respect to the Kyle algebra, there's in there is a corresponding topological line. 
and the fusion law of the, this uh, line operators are just just equals to the, the fusion rule of these primaries. Okay, so this, um, uh, yeah, th this fusion coefficient is the same one, but the same fear in the coefficient um, appears in, in the, the primaries, fusion of primaries. So, so, so at least in 2D, um, there, there are examples. Okay? And, but why, why do we call it symmetry? So it seems too arbitrary, maybe. That the, the, just. So one is one reason is that it's RG flow invariant. Obviously, the, this, by the way, they, they are topological. But they don't care about the scale. And so therefore, if you have uh, some set of the topological lines in some scale, then you, you the, the RG flow preserves all of them. Okay. So if you, if you have, you, if, if your UV theory have some set of topological operators, then the any IR can, candidate should admit the same set of, of topological operators. And that's exactly, um, I mean, that, that's uh, in most cases how we use uh, the ordinary symmetry in, in, in the context of the RG flow. Okay. Okay, so, and one nice example of this uh, ap application of RG flow invariance is pointed out by in this. Nice paper, and so the, so well they they have many examples, but but one of them is that the the tricolored car as in safety, so the, that the second non-trivial minimal model, and so then there is a some so you can easily analyze the the, the Wilson lines. By the way, these are called the fair in the lines. I should have said fair in the lines. You can easily, easily analyze a fair in the line in, in the tricriticizing CFT. It's, the fusion loop is just a, a fusion loop of primaries, which is well known. And there's one particular op, uh, topological line. Um, whose fusion loop is like the, that the, the W square equals to one plus W and called for the Fibonacci line. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then, so you, so if you think about the, the re relevant information of this CFT with the particular primary sigma prime, um, which breaks the Z2 symmetry of, of Ising C tricriticizing CFT, but preserve this um, funny Fibonacci line. Okay. And it, 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 it was known, I think, by uh, by the integrability, I think, I think by Zamuchkov, maybe, that if you do this relevant deformation, then this is, this is happened to be integrable, and you can uh, analyze the IR behavior, and IR is gapped, and uh, to asymmetric vacuo. So, which means that the two, you, you have two vacuo, but you, that the two are not weighted by ordinary symmetry. Right. But schematically, if you write the lambda potential, uh, schematically, that you, you have something like the, uh, maybe I should write this. Yes. You, you have you you have a 
uh, exact de degeneracy, but but the cover the coverage of the Landau potential is well. This is just a schematic schematic uh, picture. The, in, in a sense, this coverage at the bottom uh, is differ by by golden ratio. Okay. So that that was known from the integrability, but you you actually do not need integrability to say this. And th th these people pointed out that just looking at the, this uh, topological topological uh, line operator is enough and to endure that you have this kind of asymmetric to vacua. And another point that I'm, I'm coming back is that you can also, also sometimes can gauge some non-anomalous part of, of, of this non-invertible symmetry. So that's uh, sometimes called as some exotic before or something, but like, uh, yeah, you can generalize the notion of gauging uh, in, some, in some cases the, into this, uh, including so non invertible symmetries. Okay, so in summary, that um, this so we start started from the talking about ordinary symmetry, which corresponds to the co-dimension co one and an invertible uh, topological operators, okay? and that is uh, mathematically characterized by, by the group. Okay. And if you, if you think about the invertible topological operator with a higher co-dimension, then you, you, we get something like the higher symmetry and that's characterized by, by N group. Okay. So like the mixture between the P, P form symmetries um, with different piece. Okay. Then we, we can also allow, allow the, the, the non invertible symmetries. So, uh, any, any topological operator, then, then we, the uh, non invertible symmetry. Okay. And, well, just a uh, notion. I'm, I'm not going to talk about that, but the mathematically, it's um, characterized by some fusion higher category for, for, for the finite case. So this, this fusion finite, uh, fusion N category is defined, defined in, in Johnson Freud by Johnson Freud. Um, yeah, so for, for, for in the case, that the symmetry have a kind kind of fi uh, finitary pro property, and one one remark is that the for for in in at least for the C equals to one to the CFT there are continuous non non invertible symmetry also uh, pointed out by well this is not the first paper I should, I should say this for example. Um, yeah, so, and for that case, the, the mathematical framework is not, is not defined yet. That was a remark. So that was the long introduction. And uh, is there any question or, or comment? I, I have a comment. I am uh, Andrea Capelli. So in the case of conformal field theory, this uh, fusion category has been discussed, uh, I think, uh, rather extensively by uh, Runkel, uh, Fuchs, and um, Zweigert, yes. and yes. Uh, Frölich. So I think, uh, at least in the case you were discussing before of the 
easy model or uh, other minimal models, conformal minimal models, I think uh, this is uh, this is understood at least by these people. Yes, so. yes, uh, yes. So, okay, uh, I should have said more about uh, this. Yeah, so this is not at least in 2D. This is not the completely new framework. And yes, uh, I agree that the and in, in fact, in, in my work that I'm going to talk about later, I we depend a lot, a lot on 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 these existed literature literatures, partly by uh, Fuchs, Ranke, Schweiger, and their other co collaborators. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. Yes. So 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 this 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 kind of the topological lines in, in RCFT were well understood in or well studied in um yeah so the the recent um yes so in, in 2D there, there's not so much new um technically new uh, stuff in 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 this field, but it's more like conceptually, um, some uh, people, including me, is trying to use uh, it it in outside of the context of of our our CFT and in the more general QFT. That's one thing that uh, I'm I'm interested in. Yes. Mm. And also in the higher dimensions. Okay. Any any other question? Question. Yes. By. Uh, hi, sorry, I have a question. Uh, so suppose we have uh, considered some zero and a closed manifold. Is, so is there a nice way to say what is a kind of space of all non-equivalent uh, topological defects? I mean, suppose you 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 you, you know this fusion n category. I mean, similarly, like in in the ordinary case, uh, you like you, you you can classify your your defects by just some cohomology class. Or or homotopy mm. class to some classifying space. I I do not know that the any good. Um, I understand your question, but the answer is no. Yes, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's very important question to how to classify the general junction that you can write down on on. Uh, is it not known even in two D? In 2D, like on the Riemann surface, uh, like for a given genus, but up to equivalence class, that I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know even that 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 these are should be set or vector space. I'm sure. sure. Yeah, well, maybe that's my just my ignorance, but I personally oh, I, I don't, do not I don't know. know either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, well, this is not a good answer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I. I Never mind. Other question? Or again? Um, it's a bit slower than I, I, I suppose to do. So um, let, let me keep going rather than, than take a break. And okay, so then I, I, I want to, oh, the screen doesn't move right uh let me stop sharing now and and share again doesn't...
Okay. Okay, so then I, uh, I'd like to uh, explain some relationship between possibly non invertible symmetry and, and, and the uh, higher dimensional TKFT or, or topological order. And in, in the uh, in the spirit of the, uh, the these two papers, or, or uh, ma many other papers, uh, for example, these two papers. Okay, and but let me start from uh, one example. That think about uh, this just the diagonal usual WCW uh, one plus one D CFT with um, at the uh, G, B, B group G level K. Okay. And okay, for each integ integral representation of this affine, affine group, you have uh, algebra, you have, uh, of course, the primary or local operator. But, but as I said, the fair, there is a corresponding fairly in the line. Okay. And Okay, and, and to understand the, what, what this Fiorenti line, it's convenient to think, uh, describe this WZW CFT uh, in terms of Chan Simon theory in 2 plus 1D. Okay, so in, uh, as, so, so of course you, you, you can engineer the WZW model in, one plus one D, WCFT by putting the two plus one dimensional Chan Simon theory on an um, interval. And so th there's particular boundary condition that the universal boundary condition and which I call B and, and it, it's orientation reversal B bar. And if you, if you sandwich the, I mean, I mean if you put the, this boundary condition on, on an interval, then, then this engineers the. I mean, this is equals to this is equals to the WZW CFT. Okay. And then the, the this local operator, like the primary and its descendants, in in representation R, is in in this language is the the Wilson line in the bulk, bridging the two boundaries. Yeah. That, that's the, the local operator in one plus one D. Okay. Then, okay. then the, the, this fairing the line with topological line corresponding to the same representation R is rather a Wilson line, which is topological in the bulk, um, going along the, the two dimensional Direction. Okay. okay. So in in this picture, it's very natural that uh, that the same data we get same data from from the primary and the topological um, lines. Okay. And you can also if if you know the Chan Simon theory, um, then then you can e easily understand the action of these topological lines on the local operators. So in, if you, in 2 in 3WZW model, and if, if you are um, uh, referring the line, wraps the, the some operator in, in the primary, in, uh, in the, the module of representation R, Then what happens is that the it's if you go to the, the Chan Simon um, description, then the this crossing of crossing of there are uh, LLJ and you also have the so if when when you cross. This is O R I N. 
when, when this friendly line cross the local operator, you get the some factor, numerical factor. And, and this numerical factor in is just the braiding phase that you get in, in the bulk of bulk of the chance emissary, which is well known. And that's 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 determined by the uh, modular S matrix. So the, this is this numerical factor is this. So yeah, so the, it is convenient to uh, generalize uh, con to fold this picture for for the later purpose. Okay, so so in in the middle. So so if you if you fold this picture in the middle, then in the bulk you have um, the product of the tensor product of the GK chan Simons and G minus K chan Simons theory, and 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 at the one boundary, so this is this is by just folding here. So there's a corresponding folding boundary condition in, on, on the left. And on the right, you have the tensor product uh, boundary condition. Okay, so this is, so this folding, folding boundary is topological and, and, and this, this w, ZW boundary is non, not non-topological. Then, so in this picture, the fair in the lines are just the uh, the topological operators in this g k times g minus k that are preserved by this folding. Boundary condition. Okay. So that. So. Okay. Then. So then, in general, um, if your d-dimensional QFT is can be realized. In in by by compactifying on d plus one dimensional topological theory on on an interval, okay. And here the on, on one one bound boundary it's non topological, so there, there can be um, localized mode or whatever um, one boundary and the other boundary is the is topological. Okay, so, so suppose that you have some QFT and you can come up with some this kind of configuration that that leads to the, the original theory. Okay. Then you immediately know that this uh, your original theory admits the topological operators, invertible or non-invertible, um, that is in, in this one, one higher dimensional topological theory. And preserved by, by this uh, your your topological boundary, a boundary condition a. Okay. And well, this is not proven, but I I believe that the converse is also true. So I think, or well, at least in in the framework of. The, the higher fusion higher category is defined such that uh, that the finite possibly non invertible symmetry in the d dimensional QFT is uh, it can be characterized by the pair of d plus one dimensional topological theory and its topological boundary. So, so the possible, possible, possibly non, non, non invertible symmetry 
in, in the QFT is characterized by, by this pair. And, and it's very constrained, as, as we will see. So, yeah. So, so when, when we say that, that we, we, we care about any, any topological operator, then that, that sounds very arbitrary and, and um, don't know how to think about it. But, but uh, I, I think this is a more concrete perspective we can rely on. That the, And, and of course, this is not, not new, of course, obviously in, in one plus one D. But, but, but my point, one, one of my point is that this, this um, perspective is also valid in higher dimensions. Okay. And, Further, in this language, we can uh, conveniently generalize the notion of gauging of, of finite symmetry okay, into the non-invertible case. Okay, so, so suppose that you, you, you have some QFT that can be realized like, like this, that the, the topological theory on D plus one dimensions and uh, on, on some interval. Okay. Then you can think about the different theory by inserting inserting some topological self interface, or or like this is just a codimension one, codimension codimension one topological operator. In other words, okay, I, okay. So if you have if you, if you're not non trivial one, then you can insert. In, in the interval okay? and defining a new theory. And, or, or you can further uh, put this in interface onto the, this topological boundary and they both are topological. So the resulting boundary condition is again topological. So, so, so you, you, you can alternatively say that you can exchange the, the, the topological boundary condition the, of this uh, top, the topological D plus one dimension of topological theory. Okay. And this, and, and, and I claim that, that the, this, this is the um, generalized notion of, of the gauging of finite, finite symmetry into the possibly non invertible case. Okay. So under, under this correspondence, of obviously that this eye gauging exchange modify your original original symmetry into the by, by uh, despair to despair by def. Okay. And so let's see that the, this kind of um, picture works for uh, the ordinary case or, or invertible case. Okay. So, then, uh, any, any question? Yeah. So when you find I, I can't, I couldn't hear. It. So, so we should have a break at a certain point when you find it more convenient. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, well, this is like a half. It's not very good point to break, but well, let, let, let's take a 10 minutes break. So I think that's fine. So we should, we take a break. Okay. Yes. Let's yes, yes. five minutes. Okay. Five Thank minutes, you very okay. much. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I was claiming that if the finite invertible or non invertible symmetry can be characterized by the pair of higher dimensional TKFT that the, and its topological boundary condition. Okay, so, well, let's first see that it works for the ordinary case. So for ordinary, ordinary symmetry, finite, finite symmetry, 
then uh, then the corresponding pair is just the finite group gauge theory in one higher dimensions. And okay, and, and the topological boundary is the Dirichlet, just the Dirichlet boundary. Then the operators you have the preserved by this reducer boundary condition is the is the, the twist operator mm. of the co-dimension co two in d uh, d plus one d so dimension d minus one. Uh, so this operator is just defined by that you have you have a line. Uh, you have uh, some surface and all, and when you go around the, I mean, this your gauge field, G gauge field is in, in maybe, maybe I write the CUG. So, so there's a particular topological operator in finite group gauge theory, and and that is nothing but the, the symmetry operator you have in in the in the your original theory. Okay, so that's it works, and and you can. Here, what I want to say is that you can you can also gauge. So when the, some subgroup is non-anomalous, then you can gauge and you can find uh, easily find the corresponding uh, topological in interface, a topological codimension operator in this this uh, finite group gauge theory. Okay, that uh... and another uh, still invaluable uh, example is. But the interesting example is this uh, in 4D and the non anomalous uh, Z21 Hohn symmetry. Then um, again, the, the corresponding 5D topological uh, theory is the, the one form, the higher form version of the finite, finite group gauge theory. This particular, I mean, you, you can write down by some BF type Lagrangian, and 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 again the dear shear boundary condition for the, these gauge fields, and okay, and so then it's so for for these kind of symmetries, uh, I mean, in, for, in this theory, the topological self interface of this theory. Uh, forms the the group of SL two Z, SL two Z two, this is a finite group, so SL two Z two, and yeah, so, so studied by by or pointed out by these, these groups, so it's uh, so by gauging, so so the, this is each element of SL two Z two is um corresponds to a kind of gauging of, of this one form, one form, Z to one home symmetry in 4D. And that 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 gauging makes the this orbit of under the SL2 Z2. Okay. So and and this is an so so this is an analog of analog of SL2 Z orbit. Of uh, Witten's three uh, D two plus one D U one gauge series. Okay. And yeah, very analogous to the Witten's original argument. And but in this case, because the symmetry is finite. Uh, finite, um, we can have a better perspective, which is this, this 5D topological theory, then, then the, this SL2 
S L two Z two is nothing but the 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 algebra generated by this. Um, I mean, this is the ordinary symmetry of zero form symmetry of uh, of this topological theory. That is that is the this S L two Z two. In in the original case, this still we we can use this because it's U one is continuous, but um, That's another point. Then I, I want to briefly talk about my own I, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, please. Which, ask which work, which work by Witten are you referring to? Uh, yes, uh, of course, there are tons of works by Witten. Uh, so Is there is a billion, a billion dualities? A billion dualities, yes. Okay. So yeah. a billion dualities in two plus one dimensions. In two plus one dimension, dimensions. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's what I mean. Yeah, and, and yeah, so th there's analogous operations in, I mean, just the gauging and adding the Chan Simon like terms, the uh, con yeah, counter terms, uh, which forms the SL2Z2 to SL to to in. Okay. So, any, any other questions? The last part. But then I want to briefly talk about my uh, uh, this this paper with the uh, Zohar Magotsky and and the. Uh, Kostis Rupetakis and, and Sahan Sifnashi, I did last year. So we studied the non-invertible symmetries in 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 the one plus one D, I should say, yeah, obviously one plus one D uh SCN gauge theory with Majorana fermion in adjoint representation. Okay. You can easily check that this. Uh, sent the chiral central charge, so 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 just a central charge of this uh, Majorana fermion is equals to the the central charge of Sugawara of this um, chiral uh, SUN affine algebra acting on this fermion. So once you gauge the SUN, then then um, you expect that the this uh, central charge of this gauge theory in IL is, is zero. So in other words, it, it, it should be gapped. And so, so this is a gap theory. And then, then the question is what is the, the IL phase of uh, IL gapped phase or IL, IL topological theory of, of the, this gauge theory. And, and, and this is in, uh, interesting and also um, uh, well studied actually uh, question in back in nineties, but uh, we we came back and come back to, to the program and and studied the the system in terms of the non invertible symmetries. And the imp important point was that the, the, this fermions in adjoint representation um, of SN is um you, you can regard this as a, a non-diagonal uh, RCFT with this uh, chiral algebra with the SN level N, affinely algebra. Okay, and for for such non so we we recall that for the, the diagonal WZW model it's just uh, um, Chan Simon theory on the interval, and but according to to uh, this paper, um, for for a more general non-diagonal RCFT, it's um, it, it, you can just uh, slightly modify the construction, and and it can be realized as a 
still the same SCN level and Chan Simon theory um, on interval, but but in between you put you put uh, some particular uh, topological interface or the topological codimensional surface of this Chan Simon theory. That's what couples in Sarina told us. So, so, so you can you can uh, construct this fermion. This is just fermion and fer as a by compactifying Chan Simon theory on with the ordinary WGW boundary conditions. But in between, you have some funny topological surface. So, in some some non invertible surface actually. And, and we, we can also fold this picture if, if, if you want. So, so if you fold, then in the bulk, you have the, the product SCN level N and SCN level minus N. John Simon theory, and one, you have the non-topological non boundary on one, hand, on one side and topological boundary, which is this topological surface acting on the, the folding boundary condition. Is on the other on the other side. So this this is just some uh, abstract fact about the, this fermion. Okay. So far, this is just a fermion, and but then we um, we can gauge this. Uh, I mean, at at this boundary, this. The diagonal of uh, of SCN level n SCN level minus n it can be gauged along along this on, on this boundary. Okay. Uh, yeah. And so, if you gauge on, I, I mean, these are the Dirichlet the boundary conditions. So the, these two have a Dirichlet boundary conditions on. on WZW boundary condition. And we can make the diagonal, we can make the diagonal to be Neumann. That's what I mean. Okay. By by this gauging. Okay. So the adjoint QCD actually is uh, isn't if not even conformal theory with, with finite Yamis coupling, but it can be realized as uh, Chan Simon theory on interval with particular topological boundary and and the other side we, we have particular uh, non-topological boundary condition so that's the set the setup that I, I I was talked previously okay and and then we expect from from just a central charge analysis that, that this boundary condition which is not even conformal is uh, but, but under the RG flow, we expect that we get some topological boundary condition because we expect the theory to be gapped. Okay. So, so from this consideration that we know that the, this IL TKFT is, uh, sh should be, Engineered by putting the SN level n times SN level minus n uh, Chan Simon theory on, on the interval with, with some topological boundary conditions. On the, so, so here is fixed, and the other side is not fixed. Okay. Of course, so, so, so to really determine this boundary condition, the IR topological boundary condition, that we have to solve the dynamics, non-trivial dynamics of adjoint QCDs. And so which is uh, was beyond our consideration, but still we, we can say a lot of thing, thing by from, from just just from this picture. One thing that the general theorem, there's a general theorem that the, there's only finitely many simp, uh, topological boundary condition in, for given two plus one dimensional 
TQFT. So by just just by this picture that the, the um, we, we can say that only a finitely many possibility. But for the large enough n that n, n is greater than six, then the, the actually classifying the, the topological boundary condition or topological surface it becomes very hard. Um, th there are tons of, uh, of course, there, there, there are ton tons of um, works, uh, including by the Fuchs, Rangesh, Schweigart, and but but it, it, it's not complete for, for, for the large enough n. Okay. So, but, but we still can say something that one thing is that when the G M mills, if we take the limit where the G M mills, the M is coupling is uh, infinite. Okay. So then this is actually essentially the same as um, same problem as the, the G mod G coset model analyzed by Brow Thompson and also by Witten. And, and it, it says that this, this boundary condition in this limit has to be a, just a, another folding boundary condition of, a, of this model. So, and in this limit, we, so we can uh, an, analyze this. TKFT with the B equals to fold. And for example, we know that the number of vacua of this adjoint QCD in this limit is, is two to N, which is N is the number of colors. Okay, so, so there are exponentially many vacua. And okay, so and I emphasize that this is uh, because of, of the, the, the spontaneous symmetry breaking of, of the non-invocable symmetries. So the topological, we can also analyze that the action of topological Wilson lines in giving here on, 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 on each of these vacua and it it it, it permutes in, in a sense between the, the, this vacuum. So so the so the non-invertible symmetries characterized by these the topological Wilson lines in, in the bulk is is spontane, spontaneously broken because of and of this exponential many many vacuum. And yeah, you know, there has to be exponential many vacuum because of because there there are exponentially many. Uh, generators of, of topological lines. And, and we can also uh, study, study the one-form symmetry charge of, of each vacuum and, and, and there are, so there are expansion many vacuum and, and, and some, of, some of them have different one-form symmetry charge than from, from the other, which means that the, this theory is actually in, the deconfined de phase. Okay. Also, so the, well, I, I was not, I was, I didn't emphasize, but I was talking about the massless fermion case. And once you turn on the mass, then this, um, then non invertible symmetry is broken. So, so most of the vacua are lifted. And also, this. Deconfinement is also enforced by this non invertible symmetry. So that's also uh, broken and it um, gets a um, confining phase. But then we can still utilize this uh, slightly broken non invertible symmetry to calculate the string tension of the, the, bound, the bound state of K copies. Of fundamental confining string, and that's like at the at the first order of the mass, it uh, exhibits a sign, though that, that that was a new formula that we get. So, so here the message is that the it's so we we 
use this kind of these uh, topological operators or non-invertible symmetries be beyond the context of our safety. This agent QCD is not, is not even conformal. But uh, to to conclude the some physic physics of, of the gay theory. Uh, sorry, I have a Yes, please. Uh, you're saying that uh, uh, still in tension with with a joint fermion. So this is a string tension. You you have a joint fermion, the small mass. This is all the first for the first order of the ma the mass parameter. So small. Massive but but uh, light agent fermion in the bulk, okay. And and it, this is that yeah k k no. string yeah. No, I got confused. Uh, I agree with you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Any other question? Okay. In the in the rest, I want to talk about the uh, higher dimensional case that is not well studied yet, but I think it's a uh, important direction. So, okay. and and there, I I think it's more uh, very important to recognize that the non invertible symmetry in in QFTD in terms of the topological theory and it, and its boundary condition. <laughs> um, partly because of the in 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 one one plus one the the this non non symmetry is mathematically described by by the the ordinary fusion category. That, uh, basically the um, and that that's. Still, a lot of data, but you can manage that. But in higher dimensions, then then you have to deal with the, the uh, fusion n category, which is uh, quickly uh, explode in terms of the number of data you need to specify, and, and also also in terms of the the constraint you have. So it's, it's I, I think it's. It's easier to think about the actual uh, topological uh, TKFT and in, 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 in its boundary condition. Okay, and so so and I I also um, what do we call that? Uh, there is a generalized notion of gauging that in if you have a uh, Invertible or non-invertible topological surf interface in in this in this topological theory, then you can um, gauge in, in a sense gauge it um, by by replacing this topological boundary condition by by the action of of this your topological surface I. So yeah, so, so in a sense that the symmetry up to up to gauging is that the so so gauge, gauging modifies once finite gauging modifies one symmetry to the other, but if you are uh, quotient by the that the relationship coming from the gauging, then then it's kind of it's classified just by by the one one plus one dimensional topological uh, field theory. Okay, so so the so so the, the rough classification of possible uh, non invertible symmetry is is by, given by the classification of higher dimensional TKFT. Okay, and in D equals to two, there, there's a rich vast zoo of three dimensional, two plus one dimensional. So here, here, I mean. Hep th notation. This is one plus one. 
then and the their rich uh, class of uh, topological p theory in two plus one dimensions, which as as many as uh, unitary module tensor categories, which yeah uh, is very hard to classify. Okay. And and in a sense that there are exotic symmetries that the, the there's no no gauging can relate that the symmetry to the ordinary symmetry. So, so there there are new um, new thing, including the one I, I talked about. Um, okay. so, and but in higher dimensions, actually, there's a bit disappointing result. Um, uh, for me, it was very surprising, but um, it, it's first conjectured by these Kong and, and Shagun Wen and other collaborators in, in a series of papers, and then, then uh, proven by uh, Theo Johnson Floyd one in one paper and another paper with um, uh, collaborated with you is it that in, in d equals to three four i mean two um so two plus one is three plus one so then then the in the the dimension of the topological theory is three plus one and four plus one okay then all of these spin tqfts are just actually isomorphic to the Finite in here. I, I don't mean half. This is one or two group. So in in, in the forty case, in 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 this forty TKFT case, is just one, just an ordinary group, like uh, fi finite ordinary group case theory. And in high dimensions, you have to include the two group or the uh, one form symmetry. Um, but it's like just the uh, ordinary only the the gate the in essence a gauge finite gauge theory uh there okay that's that's very different from two plus one dimensions in two plus one dimensions that that's certainly not true um that the, the some random chan simon theory is not a finite finite group gauge theory Okay, so 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 th this result means that the no any non-invertible symmetry in in the, these high dimensions and, and the more high I mean two plus one or three three plus one dimensions which is more relevant relevant to our world um, are you can but well, there are there are in non-invertible symmetries but but you can gauge some part of it. To get to the the ordinary symmetry, or the invertible, at least the, maybe higher symmetry, but the invertible ones. So, so th there is no completely new or exotic stuff there, and like you can always uh, find a version of your theory where the or oh, the all the symmetries are invertible. That's a bit um, disappointing, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the non-invertible symmetry in high dimension is a useless uh, concept. And one point is that it, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, that this non-invertible symmetry is uh, is a, some superfluous thing. That maybe. Maybe uh, this non invertible symmetry might naturally arise in some setup, fit while while that the you you can always gauge the um, you, you can always find the gauging to get to another another version of, of the system that have invertible ones invertible only invertible symmetries, but that that gauging might seems to be artificial and may, maybe the the original frame you're working on. 
might might be more natural or directly related to the physical system. Okay. And and one place of such uh, natural, I mean, you know, um, um, non-invertible symmetry is um, one, one system is there's a work in progress by other, um, these people. That, uh, yeah, Satoshi Yamaguchi at the Osaka University and uh, his students is working on uh, the three plus one dimensional or, or four plus zero dimensional um, Z2 gauge theory, but it's it's not it's not topological and, and allowed to have a non a non-trivial a holonomy around each bracket, and and you 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 write a Wilsonian action for, for this Z2 gauge, gauge field. Okay, so so that's a that's a, a higher dimensional version of Ising, and there there's a higher dimensional version of Kramas Kramas Vanier duality. So so this these people. He found, have found on, on lattice that the chromos one year duality and duality surface in in C plus one D for for three plus four plus zero dimensional statistical model. And that, that is certainly not now involved. the one form symmetry of this C2 gauge theory. But but I think I think the original original viewpoint of the, the naturalizing uh, natural gen generalization of Ising into the high dimension is more natural. So so that I, I think it's still important to study this stuff. Also also you can you might think about uh, Explicit breaking of this non-invertible symmetry, and and then then it, if if that that explicit breaking also breaks the the symmetry uh, that you want you have to gauge to make make it invertible, um, then so it, this explicit break broken non-invertible symmetry might not. Admit invertible description. That's another possibility. So, so I think it's still worth studying the, the higher dimensional non-invertible -invert, non symmetries in higher dimensions. But uh, oh, the the current status is obviously that we lack uh, ex interesting examples yet. I think this one is is a good start, but uh, we need more more and more examples. Yeah, so we can both think about following these authors and, and think about more general lattice theory or thinking about uh, uh, more the, some continuous gauge theory in, and, and try to find the non invertible symmetry it would, be, it would be very important. So maybe I have five minutes. So I want to summarize. Oh, okay. Sorry. Before that, uh, any any question or comment? About uh, this, this perspective. So if not, uh, I I just finish with the a few comments about uh, no, I mean go back to the two dimensions, one plus one dimensions, and the more uh, interesting points. Uh, so obviously we uh, it it it'd be interesting to gen to study other uh, gauge theories in terms of the non the non invertible symmetries, like the agent QCD with uh, higher flavors or, or um, 
by fundamentals or paragraph. Yeah, would be interesting. And in general, in general, the IR is not gapped in the CFT, so the, the story will become different in this general gauge theory case. And so one project I'm I'm working in with these also these people collaborators is that they about really exotic fusion category and so so the agent in the the fusion category we get in the agent QCD case is uh yeah is is not is not something from from the usual group but use the finite group but still closely related to the affine the algebra however um it's known that the, the fusion category there, there are more exotic fusion category that they are called one of them is called the the hard group category coming from sub factor theory in the, in the math that that's so that so this one is not obtainable from gauging any any finite group symmetry or any any fairly lines. So okay, and so the question is whether there is uh, any physical system that admits this uh, exotic, really ex exotic uh, non-invariable symmetry. And and. And it's known that for any fusion category, one can cook up uh, TKFT, topological one dimensional topological theory that um, admits that fusion category as a non invertible symmetry. Okay. So that, that's a, a continuous perspective. And also, it's known that even there's a lattice spin chain kind of model that is more precisely the any unique chain that also admits the fusion category the one non invertible symmetry for any uh, uh, given arbitrary fusion cate category you can cook up uh, some one plus one dimensional hamiltonian system that uh, spin chain that have the, the, that particular non invertible symmetry and so that's called a new link chain, first introduced, essentially introduced by the, this famous paper for a Fibonacci category, but you can easily generalize into any category. And, and so, so, so there's a lat lattice model, uh, and, but then the question is whether this model is gapped or gapless. Well, more precisely, this model have a parameter has a, has has parameters and so the we are interested in the phase structure of of the of the model and 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 we so we are doing the numerics um so yeah the, the this paper by Wolf already did the numerics but i think we think that it's inconclusive and, and we are doing uh, in the follow-up numerics um, on this model and it's uh well it's recorded so i i i, I don't say the preliminary result but yeah it, it it seems that there's an interesting uh point in in this in this model yes i i i think the time is up i i stop and and invite questions thank you for for your attention Thank you very much. Um, there are uh, there is one question from the audience. Please. Yes. So, is the non-gauging always related to a global anomaly? Because you mentioned that there are some exotic symmetry that you cannot gauge, right? In one of your slides. So I was wondering if uh, it's because of the yeah. global anomaly or or if there are other reasons. So yeah, um, once once it, it involves the 
non-invertible symmetries. Yeah, I didn't really talk about the anomaly, but uh, it, it, yeah, it's once you have a non-invertible non symmetry, then it often it, it's more likely that it's it's uh, anomalous. Yeah. It's uh yeah so yeah there, there's a generalized notion of, of anomaly and the, and the Hagarup categories are certainly very anomalous. Yes. But you have also eventually desire um I mean uh, global anomalies for higher symmetries right so I mean it could be a way to understand this higher dimensional TQFT topological order maybe um, looking at these uh, toft anomalies for higher symmetries. So anomalies for higher symmetries are, are, I think is very well understood. And yeah, so for, for invertible theory, yeah, I think uh, it, it's well understood and actually, uh, how to say. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's in in this language. It's it's related to the, the digraph written twist in 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 the higher dimensional. I mean the topological theory. So yeah, it's yeah, yes. Um, the classification of global anomaly for higher symmetry is well is somewhat understood. I think understood. I think yes. But okay. but for okay. non invertible stuff, I of course I don't know. Thank you. I, I have a question. If we go back to your example of uh, uh, two-dimensional QCD with a John okay. fermion. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I got, uh, uh, I'm not sure I understood uh, all, the, this, all the points you mentioned, but uh, you, are, you are arguing with your methods, you're arguing that there is a the confined phase yeah, it's it should be in the deconfined phase of again the it's no sorry in the screen is moving so yeah yes um yes it, it it's in in deconfined phase I yeah I didn't talked about it in detail but yes. Uh, one, one can one can show that the, in particular that the string tension is zero. In some limit, or I mean, well, th that's there's no parameter actually. Uh, I mean, there is there's no. Um, well, this doesn't. Okay, th this conclusion is not depends on this this. Uh, Limit. So you start start from some um, uh, cutoff scale and and with some Yang Mills coupling, then it's always deconfined. In in sorry, this is with the massless term. Yeah. Which is which is a bit uh, counterintuitive because the this is adjoint. So na naively, you don't expect that that the fermion can screen uh, the fundamental probe particle, but but it does. So if I imagine, for example, a lattice formulation of this uh, QCD, yes, dimensional QCD is not really intuitive with the result, right? We agree. Okay. Well, we agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not an intuitive result. Yeah, it was already uh, said in in nine, back in nineties that the it should be in deconfined phase, but it's not intuitive. Yes. Okay. Okay. So thank you very much. So there is another question. So, in, in, so you mentioned the statement that all. Uh, Four dimensional spin TQFTs are finite group gauge series. Could, could you recall what are the assumptions I might hear? So, in particular, is it assumed that uh, it's defined on just topological manifolds or, or smooth manifolds? 
good question. Uh, let me let me think about it. Uh, so the sales theorem is very combinatorical, but I so probably smooth structure is not required, but maybe you need probably you need you need some kind of combinatorial structure. So but could it be could it be that if you if if you want smooth structures, that could be more non-trivial series? I mean, it's so. so I I think it should. But I'm not sure. But I we, I have to ask Theo. But but it yeah. It's it's very combinatorial definition that he is working on. So it's it, it it certainly needs some PL structure or something. But but probably that's enough. Well, PL yeah. is uh, I guess the same. It's most well, in that dimension. Yes, uh, or in general. Maybe. In in four, yeah. In four, yeah. Right, right. Anyway, I was wondering because, like, if one uh, makes some other assumptions, if one can still get. Them. Yeah, well, yeah. If if there is no any combinatorial description in your manifold, then I don't think it is still be very hard. I mean, I mean, the details consideration wouldn't apply. But... Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's then uh, thank a speaker again for this very interesting uh, talk and thank you very much again. Thank you very much for uh, your attention.